What's, What's up, up there, family? family? Welcome back to another vlog. Yes, sir. And today we're finally packing our suitcases for the hospital. And as promised, I'm going to do a second video for you guys because the first time we went with Zyra, we did pack a lot of stuff. I feel like we still packed almost the same. Like it, was, it was so bad that like the nurses were like, this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> And it took me like two trips. I'm like, no, I'm only taking two th two bags like I can carry. So one hand carry. Yeah. And then one backpack. Yeah. And that's it. And I will carry nothing except myself and the baby. Because, yeah, exactly. I mean, I remember I have to carry the baby too. But yeah, I the, the baby, car seat. The hand carry and the backpack all at yeah. once, right? So, so some of the stuff that we are not, we don't have here, I'll tell you what we're taking. So obviously the car seat and that was the Nuna car seat that we had from last time from Zyra's time. Yeah. So we're taking that for the baby and then we're going to take a laptop for Osama just in case he needs a laptop. Mm -hmm. In case it's a very I long day. I will take a laptop before. Like last time. I'm hoping this time around we don't have to be in the hospital I for as be long. Quicker. Because people say second time around baby comes faster first time around we were there from like 11 30 a.m till uh 8 30 zara was born at night time p.m and then 24 yeah. hours from then so 8 till 8 p.m the next day yeah yeah right and yeah. then we left the hospital and then also the couple of days before you, your contraction started right yeah like 24 hours before that yeah and at home i was laboring too so it was a long process yeah. and this time around i'm hoping it's a little bit shorter but inshallah whatever happens as long as it's a healthy safe delivery and the baby is healthy and strong that's all i want inshallah oh and we didn't update you guys on the ultrasound results from the last video oh i almost forgot about that <laughs> literally it was like what yesterday Maybe yeah before. so basically i actually ended up going to a clinic and getting the ultrasound done and then the technician who does the ultrasound she doesn't tell you she's not allowed to tell you any details on the baby but my midwife said that like my midwife called me right after because she knew i was doing the ultrasound and she's like okay if you did the ultrasound and she let you go um then it's fine because usually if they feel like there's an emergency or something is wrong or off they'll send you right away to labor and delivery at the hospital so she's like she didn't do that so it's not that urgent so don't worry about it once the radiologist looks at the ultrasound then um he will make the report send it to my midwife my midwife will see it which happens usually in two three days so today's the first day tomorrow is the second day i'm hoping she gets it tomorrow yeah. and then she calls me with the results and then we'll see what she says inshallah inshallah the baby is just like you know still getting that ounce a day gaining that fat so yeah. I think um, she had mentioned that like they're just being precautious basically yeah. like it's still okay that the baby's this way Yeah But like for I us was like this didn't careful. happen last time I know. And so we kind of started to trip out a bit But we're pretty yeah. calm and collected so we went through the stage and I think we're still okay But good to double check right we did yeah. our part like yeah. that's what counts and yeah. That's basically it. So that's All the right. ultrasound update. So let's get started and packing. So we have. And thank a little... you guys. You guys left a lot of feedback. Oh, I know. I know. It's I read all helpful. your comments. Yeah. A lot of people said, you know, like my baby was six point five uh, pounds, and like you know, like don't worry. A lot of the doctors said the same thing to me, and uh, the baby came out healthy. I read like a bunch of comments like that. So thank you so much. That actually like calms us down because it's yeah. like reading through everybody's comments, even though we don't reply we're very bad with replying to our comments <laughs> we are reading them and we're definitely taking into consideration everything you guys tell us so thank you so much and yeah okay so let's start so this is documents oh, that. that we have to take to the hospital first thing first is i packed um obviously the mom essentials which are the pads and i have like three different types not like three but like so Freedom Mom, I hope you guys know like Freedom Mom, they're pretty popular. They have a lot of things that you can take uh, and use for baby and then also at the hospital. So I actually have a bunch of stuff from them from last time and I kept it because they come in like boxes. So you get a lot. So this is actually their instant cold therapy absorbent pad and you can just like basically add this to anything you're wearing and if you fold it it cracks and it turns on the cooling mm -hmm. sensation so this is pretty cool so i have one of this here and then i also have their disposable postpartum underwear i guess you could say it's literally just like disposable and it looks like shorts 
So you can actually put this on this and wear it. So what's this for then? And then these, <laughs> the asylum is like, there's so many. So these are kind of like women diapers, basically, like older adult diapers. Oh. They're for like seniors that people wear, but like you can wear them as well. So it's just another convenient thing to just throw on after. So that's kind of what I put. I also have, I believe the Peri Peri, uh, the Peri upside down bottles somewhere here. I don't know where that is. And then, yeah, it's like a little it. bottle thing. Okay, anyways, I also have like, obviously the breastfeeding bra. And then I, Osama actually got this last time, like those little eye cover things. And I actually wore it the whole time. So it was, it came pretty handy. So we, I got another pair for Osama and I, in case we do end up sleeping at the hospital. I got this off of Amazon and they're like these little silk eye masks. We need the box. We don't need the box, but it just keeps it organized. You're a neat freak now. All right, so I'll keep yeah. this on. This is not as important. I'll keep it on And then I also have, obviously, I have two night suits, uh, just in case one gets dirty. You never know when you can take a shower after. So, and then if you need to wear before or after. So I just keep two uh, night suits, like, loungewear basically for the hospital i also have this thing that i showed you guys last time i still i ended up using it so when i went to the hospital it's you get it on amazon it's like a, a medical roll basically but it's like nice and comfy and silky and has buttons in the back so when you if you do end up getting your epidural or stuff like that it's like really easy access you just open the buttons and then also buttons in the front to breastfeed and yeah that's basically it it's like a robe that doesn't, I kind of like robes versus wearing the pant and the top because the pants are going to obviously like sit right here and irritate you. So that's why I like the long robes. That's for me. And then, yeah, I have another, that's my another night suit. So it's mm -hmm. three night suits right there. Okay. <laughs> One's a robe for when I go to the hospital and two is to change into after. Mm -hmm. And then what else do we have? Oh. Uh, so my midwives ask all, us all, even last time they asked us to bring like coconut oil or olive oil, like um, a new bottle. They use this during the delivery time instead of using like medical lubricant, I guess you could say. They, they like to use natural lubricant. So that's what that's for, the coconut oil. And then <clears throat> baby stuff, <laughs> the cute stuff. So I got this little cute Hello World card last time i had a heart that i actually wrote on for zyra when she was born like we put her in the crib and the the stuff that they bring her in the bassinet and then we wrote zyra we wrote her weight and the date and the time she was born so this is basically for the newborn baby and i got this on amazon it was so cute and then i got some newborn hats these zyra used to wear all the time and these are also on Amazon, but they're like the newborn hats. You have to like Google them. These are like the ones that actually fit newborns because they're very tiny. Usually most of the other ones do not fit. Only these ones always fit like the newborn and also the hospital sometimes gives you hats as well because it's really cold here. So that's, I just kept some extras. And baby diapers, obviously diapers are a must. If your hospital doesn't provide them, you can take them. I just like to keep them just in case. And then we have pseudo cream, which is basically diaper cream for the baby. We like the specific brand, which is the pseudo cream. We use it on Zyra even till this day. So I got a little mini new version for baby because I don't want to use the one that we use for Zyra on the baby just to keep everything sanitized and clean. And then we have baby onesies. These are a must. I'm gonna keep three for the baby. Um, these are like something you can just put on once the baby's born. Usually we're doing skin to skin so they don't put on clothes on the baby in the hospital in the first uh, couple of hours that the baby's born. But at some point when we do require to put on an outfit, then we'll I'll do that. And I just kept three just in case. They're so tiny, so they barely take up any space. And then I kept a newborn outfit as well for the baby. And this is what we would bring her back home in inshallah and this is how it looks i actually ordered this and i washed it that's why it's a little crinkly but you want to make sure you're washing everything before you put it on your newborn because 
you know, nowadays with all the lead and metals and all that stuff on clothes, you just want to be extra safe. So this is a little sweater set I got off of uh, Jimbori and it came with like a top and these little cute pants and then also a matching hat and little shoe socks. So that's what I wanted to bring baby home in. So that's my baby home outfit. And I will just close that up back to how it's it was. So little. I know. Very cute. And it actually came with a matching blanket that they had on the website. So I got the blanket as well. And I like that it's like two ways. So like there's the soft part and then there's this part where it's like not furry. So yeah baby blanket that's super important because on the way back home to put on the car seat because the baby's gonna be cold and it will be freezing outside it is december here and then i kept one of these plain what do you call these it's like a wrap i guess right <laughs> there's a specific word for it that i'm forgetting oh god yeah it's just like, like literally when you tie the like baby in my it? tongue yeah i guess you could say that it's uh <sighs> whatever it's, it's, it's like the cloth for a baby like you know the one that you just like, wrap around yeah. yeah so yeah that's basically that so i have a blanket and a thinner cloth and then what else do we have here <laughs> oh this is for me okay so last time basically when you get your epidural you can't eat anything and i was so hungry last time because it was so long from like 11 30 till 8 p.m. I couldn't eat any anything and I was starving so uh, the only thing I was allowed to eat was jellos and thankfully there were some jellos in the hospital uh, refrigerator and Osama kept grabbing me them but then at some point I think I ate all the jellos in the in the hospital fridge so this time around we're like we're gonna take our own jellos and we can also have like liquid juice that's clear so anything clear is allowed when you're on epidural so we kept apple juice uh, because that's the only clear juice, I believe. So we have apple juice and jello for me if I get hungry. Emergency. And an emergency milk bottle in case. In case but most likely not. Most likely not, yes. Because you've been prepping the cholesterol yes. stuff. So this time around, I actually got my cholesterol that basically it comes, that's the first thing that comes right after you give birth. So if this is your first time, baby, usually you won't get it already, but if you're second or third time, you usually start getting it really early on. And if you do notice that you are like leaking a little bit, then that's perfect because you can actually take it out and freeze it. And then when the baby comes, use it for the baby. So that's what I've been doing. It's safe to do it. Doctors recommend not, not doing it um, earlier than 37 weeks, yeah. 38 weeks. But please talk to your doctor or your midwife, whoever, and make sure you get the okay from them before starting to collect cholesterol because it can induce labor. It can induce labor, yeah. So you want to make sure that the baby's fully ready to be born before you start collecting cholesterol. So that's what I've been doing and we have like a little stockpile in our freezer which I'm excited for because last time my cholesterol was not that much and then my milk took like three, four days to come and Zyra hadn't peed for 24 hours mm -hmm. and so that, we had to supplement that that's yeah. why we ended up giving her and then she got that used milk. to the the bottle nipple and it was like and then she wouldn't complicated go back point. on the rest yeah so but basically. also amazon we ordered like the lunch box with the freezer yeah um so the, to the, take the a, frozen inserts or whatever to yeah. keep it cold right because you got to keep those yeah things cold yeah so to take the colostrum to the hospital we have to take it out of the freezer and then i, I bought like a freezer pack and then some ordered these little like thing back like basically a snack pack and we're gonna put it yeah. in there and make sure it stays cool till the baby comes wipes are it. always helpful you never know for yeah whatever. baby wipes obviously we prefer um, water wipes yeah those, water wipes Do those the, we've used since zyra's years, time yeah. and they've worked perfectly and never caused an issue so and then a couple For other Osama, things. we have yeah. I mean, I got my outfit, but then um, we have Osama's sleeping. yeah, just outfits in general to come back home with. So basically, one outfit he'll wear to the hospital and one to come back home with because the other one might be dirty. And like a night suit. On uh, uh, PJs to sleep on, and then we have like a plain uh, bed sheet because last time Osama was sleeping on the sofa, so just a, a 
a plain bed sheet for his sofa, mm -hmm. basically. And we'll also- I think maybe also... it should take two because one to put it on there, like I don't know if it's sanitized or what, and then yeah. one to put on top because what if it gets cold? Yeah, but yeah. Like, this is good. It's so we'll like, keep one more for you. Yeah. Uh, this is your nightsuit top. And then we also have um, disposable uh, slippers for the hospital. So we actually have this from another place. Oh, well, this was from the uh, place. Uh, yeah, that uh, spa. <laughs> so place. we just have these for Osama and I for the hospital, basically. So we're obviously not going to be wearing our winter boots and walking around. <laughs> yeah. And pillows, that's what we're going to take as well. Last time we took two pillows. I think this time around we'll take two pillows as well um, with our own pillow covers that we can just uh, throw out like later. And the pillows came in handy because I used it. Osama used it when he was sleeping, just extra pillows. And I think like the hospital, if you have new ones, you can't tell which ones were yours. So yeah. they suggest actually you bring something that's um, a little bit older. Yeah. And then yeah, your phones, your phone chargers, phone, toothbrush, phone chargers toothbrushes and stuff like that. Like my um, face wash and a little bit if I want to do makeup. Do like makeup and stuff? Just when I'm coming home, obviously not there. I don't You look great last time right after. <laughs> I know skin like within 24 when I hours. gave birth I don't know my skin was like glowing it was like a workout and you know after your workout like your skin is like flushed and nice I like your thinking <laughs> that's what I think of it like I think of it as a mission yeah. and like you're gonna gotta go work out and it will be an intense workout training and then after that military school where you don't sleep yeah. and you have to wake up every two hours so that's I that's basically how it is for the first everything three months. seemed to fit in here Perfect. I might not need to take the other bag, but I still probably will. Okay. Well, there'll be pillows and your brief, uh, your laptop. Whatever fits in that one bag. Yeah. So if it fits, great. If not, I'm not taking it. Oh, we still need to put our outfits in here. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just seeing if it closes. It will close. Yes. Ta -da. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So I think we got basically everything that we're taking with us. I don't know if I forgot anything. But that's so. basically it. If we don't forget anything, we have our family. They'll just come and drop it off to us. So yeah, that's basically I it. I mean, honestly, most of your stuff is important. The other stuff, like, we can figure out. And mm -hmm. the stuff for the baby. Mm -hmm. My stuff is not that important. I'll just survive right? yeah. for a day. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that's it. That's what's in our hospital bag uh, this time. And that was a pretty, hopefully easy short sweet video for you yeah, guys otherwise it get too complicated in case right? you're like packing things. your bags or getting ready then um oh one other know. thing you can take if you're not going to use your phone is like a music like speaker mm -hmm. last time the midwife had one that's one thing i'll put on the list because yeah in case you want to play something my or... midwife actually like created this whole because like midwives believe in like the environment environment being peaceful for the mom when she's giving birth and so she put on some very relaxing music for me. You can play the Quran as well and then just have the lights, like she had the lights nicely turned down. So I was very relaxed. And then when it was time, then she was like, okay, like, you know, I love the whole midwife experience. Clearly you can see last time it was amazing. Inshallah, inshallah, this time I hope it's amazing. I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes after and tell you all the details. And obviously we'll try to vlog like last time for you guys and kind of take you on this second baby journey with yeah. us it's gonna be super exciting to see how zyra acts with the new baby yeah she's been saying like you know baby's gonna come soon baby sister my little sister yeah and yeah and we'll also we have we're still thinking of names baby names so <laughs> yeah, we're down to two, so inshallah we'll have a baby name picked out and then we'll share it with you guys when the baby's born. Sounds good. So we'll see you guys in our next video. Yes.